Uh, and that is a transfer move of very, very important significance ahead of the World Cup. Marcelo Flores has completed a loan move from Arsenal to Real Oviedo in the second division of Spanish soccer. This happens with four months to go for the World Cup. The 18-year-old clearly trying to get some minutes. Mao, what do you think? Will this help or hurt Marcelo Flores' World Cup chances? Unfortunately, this helps his chances of making the World Cup roster. Here's why. Let me explain myself. This is all on Tata Martino. His narrative of the past couple of months when he, I was going to say implied, but he was very straightforward when he said, if you want to go to the World Cup, I'm not talking about Marcelo Flores, every other player, if you want to make the roster, you have to play. You have to get minutes. So in Marcelo Flores and his team head, right, they're going, if we stay at Arsenal under 23, which, by the way, is a great place to be when you're developing as a player, but if they want to go to the World Cup, in their head, they're like, we got to move. We got to go somewhere else. There's a connection with Real Oviedo, Marcelo Flores' dad, and Jesus Martinez. Jesus Martinez, Pachuca owner, is now the owner of Real Oviedo. So this all looks like they are doing Marcelo uh, Flores a favor of going to the second division in Spain so that Tata Martino has now no excuse for not calling him up. But this is a disgrace because part of his development was still trying to be great at the under-23 level and maybe, maybe get some minutes with Arsenal's first team. This kills his chances. What's Tata Martino, what do you always say? He needs to be playing first team football. I'm sorry. Second division is not first team football. Yes, it actually, it's, it's, no, it's, it's not definitely first, first team football. It and it's way team. closer to no. first team football than the U23s. Hold on, hold on, listen, listen, listen. First division football. Seb, you and I were arguing about this in the production. It wasn't even a production meeting. It was, I don't know what it was the other day. <laughs> and you put it perfectly, okay? I'm going to quote you. <laughs> Okay, right now, Marcelo Flores needs a hammer to make it to the World Cup. If he ever had any chance of going to the World Cup, it needed to be a hammer. This is a feather. He needs to go to the World Cup by playing significant minutes somewhere of significance. Mm -hmm. If he was playing at the U23s and all of a sudden getting first team action and training session, and by any chance or measure of uh, imagination, a cup game, and then from there, an actual Premier League game, whatever the case may be, and he did something, the pressure would be so immense. The pressure would grow, and it'd be drumming and drumming by the fans and the pundits. Get him on, get him on, get him on. But that's not the case. He's going to second division. Now, this may be better for his development, because it could be a case where, hey, do you remember those few years he spent at Real Oviedo, how great that was for his development? He really became a better footballer. Like, we could say that down the line. But nowhere, nowhere will we say down the line, hey, do you remember when went to Real Oviedo and made it to the World Cup team by playing second division Spain? That's not going to happen. Mm. You're not acknowledging how far he is realistically from minutes at Arsenal. He was left off the Mexico U-20 team that just failed to qualify for everything under the sun so that he could be with Arsenal for preseason. And even with is, that fact, Arsenal said, you know what? Is that not you know funny to you? Is that not suspicious? Do you not think something happened there? Like, think about that for a second. Well, I think it tells us exactly how no. far away he is from these magical first team minutes that you're talking about that are going to put him so in the radar of Tata Martino. So they keep him from playing the U-20 tournament? He, dude, he's not getting called into the Arsenal first team now. So you're talking about he's, got, he's not in the preseason. So from not being in the preseason, you think in the next four months at Arsenal, there's more than a 0.01% chance that he's going to get him not to be there. You guys talk for seven minutes. Can I get 30 Do seconds? That he's gonna... Go ahead. Go ahead, Mal. No, no, no. Step. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a fantasy that you guys think he's going to get minutes at Arsenal right now. There are like two FA Cup games potentially between now and when the World Cup training would begin. He's not going to get those minutes. He has to go from being outside of the preseason through the U23s into the first team and then get minutes on the first team? No way. So he has a 0% chance to play at Arsenal, he, which means 0% chance to impress the World Cup Tata Martino. He's going to have a chance to play at Oviedo, which means the there's World at Cup. least some chance to impress Tata Martino. Is, Is he that going crazy to the World Cup, Sam? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that. I just want to say two Why quick things. Question? Number one, number one, you guys are putting a lot of pressure... <laughs> 
on this young kid's shoulder. Because when, when I say that I want him to be a part to play in a of world the World Cup. Cup roster, I say roster. I don't want him to start. Maybe I don't even want him to play any minutes in the World Cup. But I want him to be a part of that experience. That's number one. Number two, I already made a promise regarding Santiago Jimenez in the tattoo. I want her to commit that if Marcelo Flores is called up to the World Cup, he will get a tattoo of a <laughs> flower bouquet in reciprocity of what I already yeah. offered me, on the air on Football Americas right now. Let me ask you a question, okay? Diego Lainez plays no minutes leading up to the World Cup, but Marcelo Flores plays all the minutes with Real Oviedo leading up to the World Cup. Who goes to the World Cup? Diego Linus goes Both. to the World Cup because he already has a track record Both. with the Mexican uh, national team. Okay. If you're, if you're, if you're telling me uh, I can I mean, only choose between one, okay. but now you say both. Yeah, I say both. Okay. I say both. And is her I, getting I guess, that tattoo guess, or not? I guess second division Spain Yeah, I, I saw that change of direction really there from Hercules. We, what's up with the tat, Herc? Well, is can her we get getting you to the tattoo to or not? Yeah, if Compromete. Goes, I mean, yeah, I guess if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> I, I just don't see, like, this is crazy to me that you guys think, like, this could be, listen, this is great for his development down the road. Yes, because he's going to play. Yes. But this is not the move to make waves, to make Tata Martino be like, oh, wait a second. Maybe... Maybe I, I should call him up. Look at him tearing up the second division in Spain. Because the second division in Spain is crazy good, and we should be sending everybody down there. Like, like you, you hey, said you the can U23 watch second division. You, you can watch Spain's second division on ESPN Plus, by the way. Yeah, okay. You so said you said you get U20, to watch Marcelo listen, Flores every, you said the U23s, every other weekend. The U23s in the Premier League were a higher level than Liga Mekis. So you said, okay? Yeah. Okay. Is it yeah. a higher level than yeah. Spanish second division? Uh, I don't think there's a massive <laughs> difference. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I cannot. I don't think no. there's a massive difference. Uh, no. Her Hercules, you're, you're the person who's, you're the only one on this set that's played professional soccer. Uh, you're going to tell me playing with kids? You're uh, going to tell me playing U23 <laughs> is the same as playing for a spot hey, in the best league him. in the world? Talk to him, not me. I didn't say it. Talk to him. Nah, please, please. I mean, do, please. do you know, do you know the youth, si do you know Arsenal's youth system? Do we know the level, the competitivity it's... at Man City, Chelsea, Man United? I, Those games uh, are please, awesome. Those matches please. are great. No, 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 no. I, I think we have to say the second division in Spain is much more competitive. There's much more at stake. For for Not for those guys more. than for anybody it's in the more, under 23. Go to the next Gap one. Is... Go to the next one. Talk about. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.